welcome again to Wismans TV. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and watch our other videos. In this video, we will do spring number two from our previous experiment. To watch the experiment, please don't forget to click the link in the description below. So this one is spring number two. To get the spring constant of spring number two, we will graph the data we get from the previous experiment. So we will put the deflection in y-axis and the force in newton in the x-axis. Our table consists of mass, which we measured in grams, force in newton. To get the force in newton, we will multiply the mass by 0 0.00981 newton per gram. And the deflection in our spring number 2, which is in centimeter. So we will start with 0. Then we will plot the point 0. For 10 grams, the force is 0 0.0981 newton. And the deflection in spring number 2 is 0 0.5 centimeter. For 20 grams, we have 0 0.1962 newton. And the deflection is 1.1 centimeters. For, uh, for mass number 3, that is 30 grams, we have a force of 0 0.2943 newton. And the deflection is 1.6 centimeters. For the mass of 40 grams, we have 0 0.3924 newton with a deflection of 2.1 centimeters. And for 50 grams, we have 0 0.4905, and the deflection is 2.6 centimeters. To compute for the spring constant of spring number 2, we will get the slope. So that is... Change in length 2 divided by force 2. So 1.6 cm minus 1.1 cm divided by 2, 0.2943 newton minus 0.1962 newton. So we have 0.05 meters. We convert it the centimeter to meters. And 0.0981 newton. This is, will become 0 0.051 meter per newton. To get the spring constant, we will get the reciprocal. The reciprocal, that is 1, divided by 0 0.051 meter per newton. Then, the spring constant is equal to 19.6 newton per meter. I hope you learned and enjoy our lesson for today. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.